very welcome back. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a few spare euros but are not sure what to spend it on, well, help is at hand. Financial advisor Paul Merriman of askpaul.ie is here to tell you where you should put your hard-earned cash and perhaps where you shouldn't as well. Good morning. How Good are you, Good morning. Paul? How are things? Hi, um, Paul. Just to kick things off, a lot of people would think that investment funds or accounts are not for them. They wouldn't have the money, the amount of money required. Yes, yes, that's not true. Okay. <laughs> you can get into major... Are you sure? I'm positive, yeah. <laughs> you can get into investment funds on a monthly basis from 75 euros. Uh, you know, uh, they're easy accessible as well, which means you can get your money back at any stage. The problem would be that they're obviously going to increase and decrease in value, so you don't want to be exiting out of these funds when they're down a few quid, you know. You're going to be getting out when they're obviously up money. Uh, and that's the trick, and that's what having a good financial advisor or somebody to hold your hand through the investment process is about. But this is not for somebody, it is for somebody who has 100,000 euro, but it's also for somebody who just has that 75 or 100 quid a month and wants to get a better return and they're getting on a deposit account or a current because account. Because deposit accounts, Paul, the interest is not even worth talking about, it's is it? It's madness. It's almost caused, well, actually, when you look at inflation and it's actually costing you money to keep your money on, on deposit yeah. accounts, so it's actually madness. But I would always recommend clients that have maybe three or four months uh, money on demand uh, for an emergency so something go wrong uh, for clients that are investing large sums of money. But other than that, uh, like I said, you couldn't hold your money on deposit because it's, it's, it's cost. Like, and what the banks do, which is really, everyone forgets this, what the banks do is they give you 0.1% on your money and they're lending it to your neighbour at 6% yeah. or 8% mm -hmm. or 12% or even 20% on a credit card. So you're funding the banks by putting that on. You know, So it's, it's absolutely madness. So um, how long should we invest for in terms of the term, first so of all? So we'd always recommend that it should be a five-year term. But like I said, these funds now have what's called easy access. So you can access to the funds a little bit quicker. Uh, so it makes it easier for people. Um, where before, like kind of five, six years ago, they were all kind of five-year lock-in period. You were penalised if you get out before. Like I said, most of them are easy accessible. But you'd always want a minimum of a five-year for the markets to kind of average out. Uh, you know, so just so in case anything goes wrong or there's a bad year or two in the middle, but are you, you liable to access. receive a penalty if you access it within that five-year uh, time frame? No. Some, some of the accounts you are, some of you aren't. So again, there's, a, there's hundreds of different accounts available in the Irish marketplace. It's just trying so if you uh, want to be able to access it, you need to be able to go into a penalty yeah, free. Yeah, you're called easy agreement. access. Most of these accounts are called the easy access accounts. That means you can access them at any stage, penalty free, which again makes an awful lot of sense for people, so they can access the money if they need to. You mentioned there about having 75 euro a month. What about yeah. somebody who? What about a fiver? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> How much will I get in fiver? What about 750? <laughs> well, talking about people who would have a lump sum and they'd um, like to do something with. Yeah. So when it comes to lump sum, uh, I recommend the commercial property for my clients at the moment. Uh, the friends for Commercial property funds is the one we like. It's a really, really strong fund. We expect that to do about four to six percent this year, uh, which will be a really, really good return. Because commercial property is a little bit more cyclical. What I mean by that is you can kind of see it like a stock market can fall overnight or over a couple of weeks, even with a tweet from Trump. You can find that the stock do you find market. There's acts. a lot of fear though with your uh, clients when you mention property. They uh, say, no, "Oh no, no, I don't no, want to lose my money." No, definitely not. Uh, it was in the Viva Stadium yesterday for that game, and all I can see was cranes everywhere. <laughs> so okay. it's definitely people the are way more comfortable. Building is happening. It's happening again, and people are way more comfortable. Uh, when it comes to commercial property as well. When you look at commercial property, we'd only have a kind of one a one year outlook. So you go into commercial property fund for maybe a year or two years uh, and then assess it then with your financial advisor. So I'll be sitting down with my clients this time next year, let them know what our next 12 month outlook is. And that's what's really important if you have a good advisor. It's not you can't really just say pick a fund for one, for five years or ten years and leave it there. You're going to end up in trouble. You need to be constantly getting reviews with your advisor and someone sitting down with you every 12 months uh, and that be able to change the fund or switch from one fund into another, you know. Uh, but yeah, that commercial property fund is a really good fund. What uh, about if you know. have a lump sum, Paul, and you're not sure uh, what to yeah, do well, with Yeah, see, this. that's the For a lump sum, I'd go into something like commercial property. The other fund we like is the Zora Balance Fund. That's a quite strong fund as well. Uh, that did about 8% over the last five years per annum, like, which is, like, ridiculously good. Uh, all these funds, though, whether it's lump sum or on a monthly basis, they're all, um, they have a kind of investment grade from one to seven. It's like a risk bar. Mm. Uh, one being the lowest risk deposit, seven being off the Richter scale. I haven't seen a client in a seven. So most clients that come to us are kind of a three or four or maybe tip it into a five. So again, it's it, it's not that every single investment is a risky investment. There's really good uh, level two funds, which is just a slightly bit more risk than a deposit account. So there's something for everybody. So I'd recommend if you have anything kind of spare and you want to get a better return than you get in deposit, to sit down, get in contact with myself or sit down with a financial advisor and get some advice on you know. When you're thinking about risk, and I suppose if you're um, investing on behalf of somebody else, yes. thinking about all the parents out there who perhaps yeah. would like to help their children out, yeah. perhaps they have communion, confirmation mm -hmm. money, they want yeah. to do something, it would be 
very upsetting if you lost your own cash, but if you lost your child's cash yeah. and you wanted to give them a lump sum as a present, yeah. well, for actually, the most, if most clients now as well would look at the children's allowance uh, as well. That's a good one, you know, because 140 euro a month, uh, you can invest that. The return is that if you get like a four percent return, like over 10 years, is just under 39 grand. Like it's an amazing return to get. But again, if you're sitting in the post office or credit unions or somebody's demand accounts, so you're getting if you're in a position where no you don't need to spend that, yes, that's no, a great a, thing to be able to Obviously, there's save. a lot of people that need it, and that's okay. Yes. But if you are putting it in a deposit account, or get it out of there straight away and speak to somebody about getting into an investment account, because over 10 years, you're going to get a really, really good, or even 18 years, you're going to plan for third level education for yeah, your kids. You know, the, the returns are going to be phenomenal. One of the small, the small companies from a standard life for example, like 12% per annum over the last 10 years alone. So we look at that so over the last 10 years. Out there. Yeah. Amazing. It's, just, so it's, it's, it's so, so, such good return on money, you know? Lovely. Thank you very much. No as problem always, at all. Paul. Thank Opening you. our eyes as usual. Thanks yeah. a million, Paul. No See you again. Still to come, all the backstage gossip from the first episode of last night's Ireland's Got Talent. And to celebrate the year of the pig, yes, the pig, we'll be joined by a couple of piglets. Why not? See you <laughs> shortly.